Just imagine while the whole world had accepted electric cars as the future. Now the CEO of Toyota has made such a blast that has taken the entire auto industry by storm. He has clearly said, we have made such a zero emission combustion engine, which will not only replace petrol and diesel, but will also shake up the entire EV industry. It is shocking to hear, isn't it? Till now the world was considering EVs as the biggest solution for clean and green energy. But if this new engine of Toyota really becomes successful, then imagine what will happen to Tesla, BYD and other EV companies. The question arises that what exactly is this technology and how has such an engine been made that works without emitting smoke and at the same time saves people from the tension of charging stations? Is this engine really the end of the EV revolution or is it going to give an even bigger shock to the world? Believe me, this story is so interesting that if you miss it, then perhaps you will miss the biggest secret of the upcoming automobile history. And yes, by the end of this video, you will get the answer to all your questions. So before you move on to the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first to see such amazing videos. Before talking about Toyota's new zero emission combustion engine, let's take a look at Toyota's market because without understanding where the company stands, we will not be able to know why it brought such a big technology. Toyota is one of the largest car companies in the world, and even last year it maintained its hold strongly all over the world. According to reports, in the year 2024, Toyota sold around 11 million vehicles in which its hybrid vehicles played the biggest role. That is, while other companies were trying to ship completely to EVs, Toyota also paid full attention to hybrid and conventional engines. This is the reason why even today Toyota's vehicles are among the best selling in the big markets of America, Japan, Europe and Asia. Now, if we talk about electric cars, Toyota's role here is a little different. While companies like Tesla, BYD, Hyundai are working aggressively on EVs, Toyota has not shown that much speed in electric cars. Toyota's philosophy has been that the same solution cannot be right for every market in the world. Some countries lack charging infrastructure. Some places have expensive electricity and some places people are still not able to trust battery technology. In such a situation, Toyota focused on hybrid technology instead of EVs. And even today, its best-selling cars are hybrids such as Toyota Prius, Corolla Hybrid and Raver Hybrid. These vehicles make up a large part of the company's sales. This means that Toyota kept itself on a different track in the race of the entire EV industry and this thinking has led it to a new engine today. So why is Toyota bringing a new engine? The biggest reason for this is the need of the customers and the reality of the world. EVs sound green and clean, but in reality, there are many problems in it. Waiting for charging, long distance problems, cost of battery replacement, and shortage of rare metals. All these challenges keep customers away. On the other hand, petrol diesel engines are now on the verge of being banned due to pollution and climate change. In such a situation, Toyota engineers thought, why not make an engine that is exactly like the old engine? That is one that can be refueled quickly, gives long range and gives the same driving experience, but does not emit any smoke. With this thought, Toyota started research on zero emission combustion engine. The real wonder of this engine is that it works like a traditional combustion engine, but uses clean fuel like hydrogen or synthetic fuel as fuel. It makes the car run smoothly but does not emit smoke or carbon dioxide in the air. That is, in a way, it is a middle path between EV and combustion engine. There is no hassle of charging and no huge dependency on the battery, but the result is the same zero emission. This move by Toyota clearly shows that it is not a company that flows with the flow of the EV industry. It chooses its own path like it did with hybrid technology. When the whole world was running after EVs, Toyota said that hybrid is the true balance. The first question that comes to mind when we hear the concept of zero emission combustion engine is how does it work? Because till now, whenever we talk about engines, the traditional petrol and diesel engines come to mind, which emit smoke and spread carbon dioxide and other gases in the atmosphere. But Toyota's new engine completely changes this thinking. Its name itself tells everything. Zero emission combustion engine means an engine that runs on combustion technology, but no smoke, carbon or pollution comes out of it. Now, let's talk about how this engine works. Actually, the foundation of combustion engine is very old. 
power is generated by burning any fuel in it. Till now, petrol or diesel were used as that fuel which give power after burning but also emit harmful gases. Toyota's idea is to change the fuel so that the same old technology, the same performance, the same driving experience is available but the pollution is reduced to zero. For this, Toyota is using clean fuels like hydrogen, ammonia and synthetic fuel. First of all, let's understand hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen is a very light and clean energy gas. When it is burnt in the engine, it only turns into water vapor. That is, there is no trace of carbon in it. So, the question of carbon dioxide formation does not arise. This means that the vehicle can run in a completely clean manner and smoke will not come out. The biggest feature of hydrogen is that it is very powerful in energy density. That is, it can give great power even in a small amount. This is the reason why the performance of hydrogen combustion engine is not less than EV battery or petrol engine, but sometimes even more. Now let's come to ammonia. Ammonia NH3 is another option that can be used as fuel. It also does not contain any carbon, meaning it does not release greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide when burned. The specialty of ammonia is that it is easier to store and transport than hydrogen because hydrogen has to be stored at extremely low temperatures. Ammonia can be easily handled as a liquid. However, there is a problem with ammonia. When it burns, a small amount of nitrogen oxide gases can be released, which are harmful. But companies like Toyota are developing new technology to neutralize these gases so that it can also be used as zero emission. Next comes synthetic fuel. This fuel is actually made artificially in which hydrogen is mixed with carbon dioxide to prepare a fuel that produces very little or zero pollution when burned. The special thing is that synthetic fuel can be easily used with the existing engine technology which means there will be no need to completely redesign the vehicles. This is the reason why Porsche and some European companies are also doing research on this. The first question that comes to mind when we hear the concept of zero emission combustion engine is how does it work? Because till now, whenever we talk about engines, the traditional petrol and diesel engines come to mind which emit smoke and spread carbon dioxide and other gases in the atmosphere. But Toyota's new engine completely changes this thinking. Its name itself tells everything. Zero emission combustion engine means an engine that runs on combustion technology, but no smoke, carbon or pollution comes out of it. Now, let's talk about how this engine works. Actually, the foundation of combustion engine is very old. Power is generated by burning any fuel in it. Till now, petrol or diesel were used as that fuel which give power after burning, but also emit harmful gases. Toyota's idea is to change the fuel so that the same old technology, the same performance, the same driving experience is available, but the pollution is reduced to zero. For this, Toyota is using clean fuels like hydrogen, ammonia and synthetic fuel. 